that. Not bad, mate. Alpha males. Okay, guys. Good job. All right. Who's next? Ezra? Ah. Oh. you to be my cheerleader, okay? Shelby. Shelby. Peter, look. Hey, Shelby, wait up. Shelby. What? You got an old soul. Wow, gee, groovy. It's hard shell, too. Always a good feature in a woman. Do you work here, or are you just giving this out for free? I'm just a visitor. On what planet? See for yourself. Shelby's intake file. I've met a lot of tough kids in my life, but Shelby? Man, she's hard as concrete. Reinforced concrete. She's been here eight weeks. Nothing's changed. I keep chipping away at that wall, only to find another one right behind it. What, this is it? Habitual runaway? About a dozen times since she was 13. Her mother brought her here after she found her living on the streets for a couple months. Street kid. Whew, that'll toughen a girl up real fast. Boy, she's never tried running from here. Nope. I doubt she'll ever try. Horizon's her sanctuary. She probably feels safer here than any place else. Well, what about home? Family? School? All apparently normal, whatever that means. But her feelings of uh, alienation, abandonment, her anger, that just doesn't make sense. Whatever her demons, she knows what they are, so hopefully she'll find a way to tell us someday. In the meantime? What, her demons just shadow her everywhere? cigarette can't just walk away shell so i can't scale the heights we all have our little phobias so you're afraid of heights it's your excuse you tell me you're the one with the answers remember all i know is that walking away gets you nowhere fast i want a thousand word essay by tomorrow what's the topic me and my shadow Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. Who's watching the finest eating establishment in the whole town, Agnes? You mean the only eating establishment? It's closed for the day. Gone fishing. Want me to show you a good fishing hole? Huh? Well, actually, I was hoping you could give us directions to the wildflower field on the south face. We're going to have a little mother-daughter camp out. Here, let me show you the map. All right. Right now. Yeah, what you want to do is drive up to South Bend Road right here, and then uh, you see an old tree and the mission's carpet. What are you thinking about? You know anything about shadows? They're dark, hide things, secrets. You have secrets? That's my secret. Is this yours? No, it's Peter. You ride? Well, not for a long time. Do you think Peter'd mind if I sat on it? I don't 
don't think so. Let me see if I remember. This is the ignition, right? Yep. Brake? No, that's a clutch. Brakes are here and down there. Right. And this is the throttle. It's sticky. We're trying to fix it for you. Watch your foot there. That's the gear shift. Which one? They'll both dry out. Be good as new. Ladies, dinner is served. I'm really sorry about your motorbike. It's okay. It'll dry out. Maybe. I told you the throttle was sticking. <laughs> you could have told me a little more firmly. It's okay, ladies. Nobody got hurt. It's fine. I'll see what I can do with the carburetor in the morning. Guess you two have been friends a long time, huh? It seems like forever. How, um, how did you meet? <laughs> Sorry, it's too personal. No, no, it's, uh, it was in Seattle, not long after I left New York. I was in the hospital after I'd bottomed out from a drug overdose, and uh, <laughs> I felt like somebody was patting me down for cigarettes. It was Sophie. She was in there with a broken leg because of a motocross race. Or... Anyway, I told her, I don't smoke. And uh, she said, Neither do I. I was just checking out your pecs. <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't exactly like that. Wait. Oh, no? Then I'd love to hear your version. Well, maybe someday I'll tell you. Mm. Uh, anybody want some salad? <laughs> I can't believe you have matching sets of linen. Only because you taught me the finer points of hospitality. Mm. How long are you here for? A day. Maybe more. I was in Seattle. You were close by. I felt reckless. Do you feel reckless? I gotta get in there, I'm gonna be late. 